additive guru. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make custom infill. Uh, the example we're going to be using is this cube here, but uh, you'll be able to use your own models if you want. Uh, so just to start out, we're going to use this basic cube. And as you can see, it's got an infill pattern in there. Um, I put together this, this little notebook, which I'll show you how to do later on. Uh, this lets you control stuff like the, the shell thickness, the type of infill, or the pattern, and the infill thickness, uh, along with what your input is. So if you want to see that in action, we can change this to a hexagonal honeycomb. And as you see, that changed along with it. Uh, you can also change the shell thickness if you want a super thick infill. As you can see, this is kind of extreme. But you can also go thinner if you want. Alright, so let's get into it. First, we'll need a cube. And then we're going to make a volume lattice. You can drag and drop the cube into the volume slot here. Uh, the unit type. You can just select whatever you want to start out with. We'll go ahead and do Kelvin cell. And the fill type needs to be all touching. It's a very important step. All right. And as you can see, the, um, the lattice kind of goes over your cube. And we don't really want that. So we are going to trim it. So we will go to trim lattice. And you can just drag and drop your volume lattice in here. And the body, we are going to use our box that we made, our cube. So just type in box and it'll pop up here. Pretty easy. And then feature tolerance, you can just set that to one. It's not super important. And now as, as you can see now, it all fits within within the box. So that's that's what we're looking for. Now, after we've got that, obviously we need to thicken it. So we'll go to Thicken Lattice, drag this down here, and add your thickness. We'll just go with one millimeter for now. Okay, so now we've got our infill. We can go back and change it later if we want, uh, but now we need the box around it. So we need to type in shell, and again it's asking for the body. So we want to use our same box. And the thickness, you can just set that to 1. And the direction needs to be outward. And there you go. So now, if you want to see a section view, uh, the shortcut is X. So if you just press X, it brings up this little, this little screen where you can do a section view and see the inside. So as you can see, it's pretty well merged together. but it's actually still two parts. So the next step is creating a boolean union. Alright, and then super easy, you just drag and drop, drag and drop. Now, as you can see, go back and hide that. Alright, as you can see, it's all one piece. If we select it, you can see it's still one piece and it's actually merged the infill with the shell. So that's pretty much all you have to do for that. Now if you want to, to be able to change this stuff easily, what you can do is you can go back in here and where it is the um, volume lattice. If you actually right click on this where it says unit type, you can make variable. As you see it added this little cell up here and you can just drag that and put it under the inputs tab. And you can go ahead and do that with a few of the things like the um, where is it at? The, oh sorry, the thickness. You hit make variable and you'll want to make sure and double click on the name so you can rename this. So you can put infill thickness that way you don't lose track of what's what. And then under the shell, you can also do the shell thickness. And 
and then you right click this and click make model input and then hide that alright so now it's easy enough that we can just go here and change change our um, cell type if you will for the infill so if you want to mess around with that and it's also easy enough to change the thickness on here if you want to make that thicker or thinner and then all you need to do is the output you need to drag and drop the boolean union into the output and then once you're done with that you click file and save as and you can name it whatever you want custom infill cube and then what that does is it saves a notebook so then when you open up in top the next time you can come up here and click import and then just click on what you saved and then if you go up to the search bar this one will be new notebook since we didn't change the name up here so it's a very important thing you'll want to change this All right. so now that you've saved that or you've updated this, uh, the name of this once you save it um, you'll look it up by that name since we didn't save it the first time it's just new notebook and that brings up this right here so basically that is making another um, cube and as you can see it has all your inputs your infill thickness and your shell thickness and that's all for today folks thanks for watching